In example number 10, I will show you how to use a PIR sensor and a 5 volt buzzer with the Raspberry Pi Pico. We will be making a small security system. The PIR sensor triggers the Pico board each time motion is detected and then the Raspberry Pi Pico board turns on the buzzer. Let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit diagram. The PIR sensor red and black wires are connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico board 3.3 volt and ground pins while the signal wire of the PIR sensor is connected with the GP14 of the Pico board. This is a 5 volt buzzer and it can't be directly controlled using the Pico board so that's why I'm using this driver circuit to turn on and off this buzzer. The base of the transistor is connected with GP28 pin of the Raspberry Pi Pico board so that's all about the connections. I defined buzzer as the output and PIR sensor is the input. Buzzer is connected to GP28 and PIR sensor is connected to GP14. I'm going to call these pins as the buzzer and PIR sensor. Inside the while loop, we check if the PIR sensor has detected any motion and then accordingly turn on and turn off the buzzer. So that's all about the code. Now let's go ahead and run this code. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode and thanks for watching.